All right, so we're taking a look at the Diatone Roma F35 in this video. So basically this is a three and a half version of the Roma F5, kind of a shrunken down version with some pretty beefy motors for this three and a half inch class. I think the biggest ones I've seen yet. In fact, I think these motors are even bigger than the ones that are on the Roma L5, the five inch um, ultralight. I think those are 22 or two, 2004 motors, and these are these are 2203 and a half motors on this one. So yeah, this is the the main thing about this uh, particular uh, the Roma 35 is 2203 and a half, and these are 2650 kV for a 6S setup. Uh, the 4S version is going to be 4200 kV. This is the analog version, so it comes with the Mamba TX500 video transmitter and the Runcam. Uh, Phoenix 2 analog FPV camera and uh, the Vista version uh, obviously comes with the Vista in the back here and I think it's the Polar camera for the uh, Vista version if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. No receiver on this one as usual they come plug and play. You know it's a very nice looking frame you see the little details here with the diatone name there and also on the bottom the Roma etched into the bottom of the frame. As you can see here it's a uh, unibody frame, three millimeter bottom plate, and the top plate is two millimeters. The stack inside is a pretty nice stack, F722 flight controller, and uh, Fornon EC is uh, 40 amps, but it's still a BL Heli SESE. I added my own XM Plus receiver here, and this is the uh, uh, right hand circular polarized Mamba antenna for the analog system. They have the uh, XD60 here in the back, in the part of the print where the um, VTX antenna goes in. Pretty nice, It's uh, make, sh make sure that the uh, battery lead doesn't get chopped up by the props at all. And, but you do have to make sure your battery, ha your battery has a long lead. So I used this, um, it's a bit FPV 556S. So they were saying this is tuned, and it's a preliminary tune, it's not a final tune, but it's, it was pretty close. There was, a, I think, could use a little bit of tweaking, but mainly because I think I'm using a lighter battery. Uh, I don't have anything in the range that they recommend. It's 650 to 850. You can obviously go heavier. Uh, I think the smallest 6S I have is like a 1300, which is weighs almost as much as the quad, I believe. So, yeah, I decided to go a little lighter, and obviously, I wanted to get a little more freestyle performance. You can put a huge battery on this, and it'll carry it for sure, and just give you longer flight time. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure with this little lighter battery, you can probably carry GoPro as well. But there was no GoPro mount included in the package, although I suspect they will probably create something here for this area for the front although the amount of space there is limited so maybe maybe only a naked gopro not sure but yeah i did i don't have any uh, gopro footage or hd footage because i didn't have a mount and uh, the size is somewhat limited but as i said when you get the battery in here you want a little bit of a longer lead to get this uh, plug in here depending upon uh, where you have this strapped in and the placement of the battery this one is just barely long enough and I had to like pretty much push it all the way back to get it plugged in. And that's, you know, that's one of the disadvantages of having the plug secure like this is that you have limitations on how um, where or how long your battery lead has to be from the battery itself. So just keep that in mind. Um, the kind of batteries you're going to be using for that, you're gonna, because the, this cannot move. It's going to be there permanently. So keep that in mind. So the props on here are the Gemfan 3520 props. Um, there's a few other three and a half inch props out there. I didn't try any other ones. I think there's an Emacs version. Obviously, they tuned it for this prop. So if you switch the props out, you're probably going to have to retune it. And then, uh, you know, this is um, on the heavier side for this three and a half inch class. Yeah, but yeah, I think this is by far the most power of anything in this class. So uh, we're running at 221.7 grams. And then with the battery, I flew it with. A uh, total of 325.3 grams. Obviously, your weight total weight's going to vary if you're carrying a camera, if you're carrying a heavier battery, uh, it's going to weigh even more. And so, you know, most of the guys out there that are, I think, you know, and, and this is something that I've been discussing with some of the uh, these bind and fly manufacturers. You know, they often ask. You know, a lot of people complain about you know things have to, having to meet the so-called 
arbitrary 250 gram limit, right? So uh, there's a lot of people that complain about that. You know, uh, manufacturers need to make quads that, uh, especially in this sort of sort of class range here, this micro class of like three inch, you know, it's four inch. Try and make it so that the all up weight can be under 250 grams, which is not that easy to meet. You know, you have to do a lot of things in your design to meet that. And so, you know, um, there's been a lot of like attempts from a lot of manufacturers to sort of meet that sort of, um, I guess, demand or um, request to have models that are in that sort of weight range. And uh, I often ask, get asked by these manufacturers, why don't anyone buy these? And it's because um, I tell them that this is my theory, is that the people that complain a lot about uh, quads being uh, a certain sort of uh, weight class tend to not buy binding flies anyway. They are going to be building their own and, and building to their own unique specifications and requirements. And so I always tell manufacturers, you know, don't, don't, don't cater to like a very niche crowd. You don't, because that's a very small amount of people. They, yeah, sure, there's going to be a few of those guys that are going to buy the binding flies, but for the vast majority of people, I think that most people don't really care about that arbitrary 250 gram limit as much as they complain about in the comments. And I, and I, I think I, I believe more of uh, uh, what the actual buying data, like if you look at people that actually, what people actually purchase, people tend to not care about that as much as that you see in, in terms of the amount of complaints you see in the comments section. So I think that's why Diatone went this direction, which is, I think, great. I think having um, different options that are going to meet like sort of an, a different kind of a need are good. This is, this is going to be for you guys that are like into ultimate power. So this is like basically like the Tesla of three and a half inch micros. And if you were looking for massive amounts of power, this is it. Um, I'm sure someone's going to maybe think of making a bigger motor here, maybe going to like a 2307 motor on a three and a half inch. That would be nuts, but it kind of, at this at this sort of you know weight, with the heavier motors, you you re, you reached a, a point of diminishing returns. So, uh, the amount of power you're going to generate from this b very huge motor on a little prop, you you hit a, like a point in the throttle, like around eighty percent, where you're not really generating at any more additional uh, speed, but you're just basically just it's just. Um, energy that's being lost to the, the prop spinning too fast because the prop can only generate so much speed because of the limitation of the size of the prop. I don't really know what that's called in aerodynamics or whatever, but that, that's my sort of theory on how this basically works on the way it flew for me is, you know, at around 75, 80% throttle, if you go above that, you don't, it doesn't seem to pick up any more speed because of uh, the fact that even the motor can spin this prop really fast, I uh, think that because the prop is only three and a half inches, it can't really generate that much more speed. So I'm thinking that, you know, in terms of efficiency, like optimal setup, this 22 3.5 motor might be better on like a four inch instead of a three and a half inch, maybe even a four and a half inch. Um, Cause it's just under that sort of like size of a traditional five inch where you, you have that sort of optimal um, sort of power to weight ratio and speed. So. Yes, it's not optimal. Yes, it's going to be over 250 grams, but you know, people like lots and lots of excess power in the air and you're going to get that on this particular model. That is for certain. So I'm not going to say much more about it. You guys can debate this down in the comments below. You know, I liked it. You know, if you're looking for like, you know, something with like giant motors and like lots of power, like crazy amounts, like just basically ridiculous amounts of power, this is going to be it. This is pretty insane. Uh, but you know, keep in mind that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit in, inefficient because uh, you're basically carrying around a lot of extra weight and not generating a lot of extra power and speed beyond a certain point. That's all I got to say about that. You guys can make your comments down below. Um, let me know what you guys think of this model. And I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing some bigger motors out of this three and a half inch class pretty soon. I'm thinking, yeah, 1404 is too small in my opinion. I'm thinking 1804. Uh, somewhere around there, maybe like, uh, I don't know, 1805 is probably going to be like the point where you, you've reached the, the tipping point where you, you've reached the optimal maximal amount of power to weight in, in terms of the size for the three and a half inch prop, at least for now under like current electronics. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Here's the um, flight footage. I'll probably link it as a separate video. 
um, down in the comments below or not down in the video description. Just uh, go to that link and you can get the narrated flight and see how this thing just uh, zips through the air. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Talk to you guys later.